Christy Simpson. Today's question is, what materials and resources do I need in order to put together a musical? So there's a lot of stuff uh, that's offered through Word Music. Uh, we've tried to give you as much as you can to be successful in putting together a musical for your kids. The first thing that you're going to want, of course, is the choral books. The choral books have all of the music in there. It's music that you could play on the piano, music that teaches the kids to read the lines, and also the drama, of course. So you've got to have choral books. One choral book for every kid. You'll love it. That is your number one big thing. And of course, eh, equally important, I would call it, is the CD, the listening CD. This is so important because kids very often are, um, they learn through listening. So uh, while you're struggling to get them to memorize, if you let them listen to a CD of the drama, you will find, and I know lots of you have found this, that even your kindergartners have the whole thing memorized, have every person's part memorized. So whenever I have kids that aren't memorized or that are struggling with lines, I say, you haven't been listening to your CD, have you? And usually the answer is no, they haven't listened to it. Uh, if we listen to things, we learn it. It's just kind of how it happens. So CDs are so, so important. Listening CD for every kid. That is so, 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 so important. I love those so much and I still listen to them even now. Um, you'll also want to check out, if you haven't, there's a product called Setting the Stage, is what I believe it's called, and it is a one-time purchase that teaches you lots of different stuff if you haven't put together a musical before. So there are tips on how to teach drama, um, activities, uh, ways of staging, showing how to stage your kids, simple ways to do that, um, how to teach them to audition. Uh, how to handle classroom management in teaching a musical, how to handle the choir, lots of things like that that we used to put in the teacher's resource kit. And then we thought, you know what, let's make that a one-time purchase for people that have never done it before. Super handy resource. I highly recommend checking that out. All the tricks and tips of the trader in there. Um, and lastly, you have your teacher's resource kit, which has tons of lesson plans, games, things that you can use to make it a little bit more of an educational setting, teaching music as you teach the musical. It also includes a production resource kit that talks about how to stage your songs and costumes and props and stuff like that. But it has, you know, memory verse tools, memorization, um, prayers you can pray with the kids, crafts you can do with the kids, kickoff ideas for your musical, which is really fun too. So there are so many things you can check out. Check them all out at wordmusic.com slash kids. And remember to keep sending me your questions at csimson at gmail.com.